What's up and welcome back to Rumor Has It Official. Let's get straight into talking all about 90 Day Fiance the other way. This is season three, episode four, and the title of this episode is From Soup to Nuts. What a crazy title for an episode, right? Well, we're going to get straight into talking all about Ari and Binyam in this video. But before we get started, my besties, I need a big favor from you all. Give this video a big thumbs up, share the video, subscribe, plus hit that bell so you will be notified on future uploads coming from this channel. I do have my handy dandy phone here. I will be reading from my notes so I can stay on topic and get all these points out that I want to discuss in regards to this couple from this episode. So we're going to go ahead and get straight into talking about these two. They start off the episode with Ari and Binyam is Ari and Leandro, they go to get coffee. Just these two together, Binyam stays at home. So once they go to get coffee, Ari tells Leandro that seeing him this time helped her to realize that they won't be getting back together. Initially, when she was with Leandro, they didn't want to have children together, but she ended up changing her mind. She had a change of heart when she turned 25. She adds that that was part of the reason why they broke up because she saw that that wasn't something they were going to be able to compromise on. Leandro says that he feels like her and Binyam still have a lot of work to do in regards to their relationship. Adding that he doesn't know if Ari can truly say that Ethiopia is home. Now Ari tells him that she loves Ethiopia and sees so much potential there, but admits that there are times where she does get frustrated. I don't believe Ari. Okay, I don't believe Ari. I think that she's trying to convince herself of that, but her family and the people that really truly know her, they know, uh, they know what the deal is. Now, Leandro says that he's not buying it because Ari was feeling homesick. So that proves to him that home is not Ethiopia. Ari opens up that she doesn't know if Binyam is ready to be a husband and that it would be nice her being with someone who she didn't have to worry about making stupid mistakes. Now, in the next scene, Ari, Binyam, and Leandro go to meet with Binyam's sisters. And I forget what occasion or what the celebration was, but Ari should have passed on this one, okay? She should have passed on this one because Binyam's sisters were very rude. Very rude. I get it. Protective of their brother. I get it. They don't like the situation. But at the same token, you don't have to be rude to someone who does not even know you. Like, you don't have to be rude. You can be cordial, pleasant, go about your way. You don't have to hold a conversation. You don't have to be fake and phony, but you don't have to be rude to someone. And they were very rude, in my opinion. I don't really like their attitudes. I didn't like the energy. Now, I'm not picking sides with Ari. Staying very neutral, Binyam needs to learn how to handle his own and speak up, okay? When he doesn't like something that Ari is doing. Okay, because this relationship is between them, these two, not Binyam and his sisters. It's between Ari and Binyam. Now, this scene was something. They were dancing around the fire and Ari was leaping over it. I guess she wasn't concerned about her coochie, her legs, nor her feet catching on fire. I just was like, they just was hopping over the fire. Even the babies and the kids was hopping over the fire. But I get this, their culture. Now, once they're done jumping over fire, Wish, which is Binyam's sister, she starts grilling Leandro. Who are you and why are you know all that stuff? They also bring up the whole New Jersey situation when Ari was in New Jersey with Leandro and they stayed together in, a, in an apartment. Things do get tense between Ari and Binyam's sister. And to be honest, when Wish, which is Binyam's sister, was pointing her fingers up in Ari's face, like we, we would have a problem. Like you can talk to me, be a woman, but putting your pointing your finger like that's basically like. Now I got to be on defense because it's like, you put your hands on me, then I'm going to have to knock you out. So, you know, all that pointing, you don't do that to people, pointing your hands all up in people's face unless you want to fight. Uh, to me, comment down below your thoughts. Let's fast forward to it is now time for Leandro to leave. And Binyam is so excited, okay? I laughed when he said, hasta la vista, baby, and kind of did like he was punching. And I was like, this dude is crazy. So <laughs> Binyam tells Ari not to give up on him once Leandra leaves off and that he doesn't want to lose her or Avi. Now, how about, let's go back to when they were saying their goodbyes to Leandro. And how about Ari hugging Leandro and kissing him multiple times on the cheek, too far. That that was too far. 
I just think that that's disrespectful, especially when you know that your significant other has a problem, has some insecurities about your relationship with your ex-husband. And so for you to be doing all of that, a hug is fine, but the hugging, the kissing multiple times, okay, I'm going to kiss you and all this stuff. Like to me, that was definitely disrespectful in my opinion. Now, uh, Leandro is not her brother. He's not her brother. It would be totally different. He's not her brother. He is her ex-husband. So right there is already like, to me, no way, no way she should have been kissing him uh, like that. That was very disrespectful. So we had a lot going on in this episode. Uh, to me, like I said, I, in regards to them taking uh, Leandro to meet Binyam's sisters, that should have definitely been passed up on. She had company there. And so she should have stayed, her and Leandro could have stayed, had dinner, did whatever. And Binyam could have gone, had their little special occasion or celebration, whatever that was again. But I just felt that that was really a setup. And it's basically like placing somebody in a heated situation. And I would want to protect somebody I care about. I would never want to have them in a situation where they're being ganged up on, they aren't being welcomed, uh, they're being uh, dis disrespected. I will never give you an opportunity to be rude to someone that I claim to be very dear to me, you know? So I just, like I said, I thought it was very disrespectful how these two conducted themselves. And when I say these two, I mean, wish and then the other sister bringing up stuff like really that is none of your business if your brother wants answers in regards to his now fiance's past he needs to be the one posing those questions but you all doing that it's not your place and then they're very concerned also about Ari they're comparing her situation to the first American woman that he was married to. So they're thinking that Ari is, is going to take the baby as well. They need to chill. Their presentation is really, it's like, it's hard to receive that presentation. If you come to someone and you say, you know, we've seen, you know, what our brother has gone through the very first time. And it was a very uh, hurtful situation. It was hard on all of us because now, you know, he no longer has a connect with his son, but we no longer have a connect with our nephew and family means a lot to us. So, you know, we hope that you are feeling comfortable and that all is well. If you need us for support, we're here. That's the correct way to approach someone. But being aggressive, passive aggressive, and telling people, you know, you this, 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 and pointing your finger, like who's going to receive you in that way? Who would ever receive you? She'll come find, she, they show her that she can't really trust them. I'm not saying Ari is perfect in the situation, but I'm just saying, put yourself in a situation where it's like, if a person makes you feel welcomed or that they support you, yeah, that's their brother, but like you're coming into the family too and we want to let you know you're supported. Like Ari can't even give tell them information without them going back and bringing it up in front of Binyam. And it's just, it's a lot of mess going on that I just don't like. She can't feel safe to talk to them. She That's why I see why she begged Leandro to come there. She doesn't have anybody else there. And if they made her feel more like family, maybe it would just be a better situation for everybody. So I just feel like, you know, it was a lot going on. I really don't like how the sisters handles these situations. Uh, one of the things I will say, the only thing I didn't really like so far how Binyam has handled the situation is by choking, almost choking the life out of that man. Like that was, it just wasn't necessary. Okay, maybe roughing him up because you guys are guys and you want to get some frustration out. Okay, but choking him out like that, I feel like he could have really killed that man. So I can go on and on about these two, but I'm very curious to know what you all thought of 90 Day Fiance the other way. Season three, episode four. The title of this episode is From Soup to nuts comment down below all of your thoughts give this video a big thumbs up share subscribe plus hit that bell so you will be notified on future uploads and i will see all of you wonderful besties in the next video peace